Hello and welcome to more Nerdy Rodent Geekery. Today I am having a little look at Pix2Pix TensorFlow. What on earth is that? Well, it's a generative adversarial network that's used to train a neural network model to create a real image from a drawing. Basically, it turns one picture into another picture. Pix2Pix. Ooh, clue is in the name. Now, this is based on this TensorFlow tutorial here. So uh, we've got uh, TensorFlow Learn, TensorFlow Core Tutorials, pix to pix which also has their code for Google Colab on GitHub, and you can download that notebook too. So if you want to take a deep dive into the code, then you can scroll through all this and have a look at loading your data set and what each bit does and the input pipeline, building the generator and building the discriminator. So all sorts of stuff going on there if you want to have a real dig at the code. But I'm just going to go show running it because this version also has this nice little GUI so you can draw along with it as well. Now, first of all, you will need to have some images, in this case, 40 images. So it should be quite easy to get 40 images. I used faces because uh, I already had a Stargen 2 ADA uh, dataset going on. Uh, they happen to be perfect for this 512 by 512. Um, yeah, awesome. So I used those images and I have only got 52 in there. So quite a quite a small data set. Now the first thing you want to run is this image side by side.py and that will save images side by side in the database name train folder. So I've called my database test images. As you can see there, database test images. Now when you run side by side, you will need to update the database path and the database original path as well. So make sure both of those are correct. Now these are my originals. There we go. Just some faces, 512 by 512, paintings as it happens. Now what this does, as it said, it is uh, creates you know this output data set here, but uh, there's a, a temporary base it creates and that's got the faces and it puts them next to each other. So it generates two images and then in this train, you get the two images, so you've got them side by side. Now these, of course, I have already coloured in. As you can see, there's a rather smart colouring job done there. Now, I didn't do those by hand, as it suggests here, because I am incredibly lazy. And, uh, you know, why colour in by hand um, when I can use something like face parsing PyTorch? Why? Because it, it, it does it for you. Um, so I just used this to do the colouring. Um, there was a slight modification on this, um, but otherwise exactly the same as here. So no need to do any training. There is a pre-trained model there. You just download that, save it into ResCP, and then run Python test.py. Now the slight modification is in here, down on line 42, you've got this uh, blending that it does so it blends the, uh, your, your original image with the coloured image. So I just changed that to naught and 1, so it didn't do any blending. It was just flat colour. Other than that, it's just running exactly the same, just running that Python test. And uh, yeah, so I did that on the, uh, on the 52 images. Some of those weren't quite right. So when I went through my data set, there was a few you know, little, little colours that were out in the, in the wild there. So I went through it and cleaned it up a little bit. And uh, yeah, as you can see, there you go, there's a fairly reasonable data set. Uh, now you've got the colors there, as you can see, they match the different things on here. So if you have a look in the code uh, for this, you'll see what, uh, what colors match. I think there's a bit down here. Boom, 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 boom. Oh, not that far. Uh, it's a test, not trained. All right, there we go. So the colors, there we go. Uh, so yeah, those are all the colors that you can uh, you can do up to 20 colors. And uh, that's what they look like. There we go. So you've got the hair, ears, eyes, eyebrows, nose, a bit of neck and some, uh, some shirt going on there. Now you'll need to sort of know what colors are what later on, but for now we will drop back to this page and see what happens next. So if you were doing it by hand, uh, then you can run ping to JPEG and that will convert all of these. As you can see, there are already JPEGs in there. Uh, but what I did instead was I wrote my own little script because I'd already created my own segmented images. So I did my own version of base, which is all the segmented images there, and then just combined them with the original 
everything up. So you've got the original into the training data set. So you've got the original and the face. Yeah. And that's all that that does. So convert image one, image two, append. There you go. That's it. That uh, changes everything into JPEGs as well. So what's next? Ready to train, basically. Um, now, before you run this uh, pix2pix.py, you will have to edit a few things again, the database directory, uh, if you want to change your output directory as well. And also that open interactive tool, if you change that to false and run it, then it will do the training. Now, obviously I've done the training already. So you will get a few training checkpoints depending on how long you want to set each checkpoint for. Now, as you can see, these checkpoints are 700 meg. Um, so in the end, I did it for quite a high <laughs> uh, checkpoint save interval uh, over a thousand epochs. Um, I think this one I actually ran for 750 and did a checkpoint save at 250. So that uh, checkpoint three there is actually 750 epochs. But you know, you can change those to whatever you like, a thousand, took about four hours uh, on this uh, GTX 1070, so it's it's reasonably quick. Uh, but yeah, so that's if you, if you want to do your training. Now I'm gonna change it back to true, as I have already done the training, and we can see what this thing looks like. Now it will output a bunch of images into this test directory. So let's just clear that out for now. There we go, we'll throw that through, and let's fire this up. So, pix to pix with the uh, Open Interactive to Tool True. We'll give you the little interface here. Let's just move that down there. Now, as you can see, it starts out putting the files into that test directory. And as I draw a little face, let's make the brush size a little bit bigger. There we go. It will, it will start doing it in there. So you get a, a little log of all your changes in there. Now, let's add some hair just to make this more fancy. There you go. Oops. This is real quality art here, isn't it? This is, oh, let's give him a little quiff in the middle there. Awesome. And uh, we'll have some nose going on. Let's have a nose there, shall we? It's sort of nose-like. And we'll have a little bit of a lip. Let's make it a horrendous smile. There's the bottom lip there. This is terrible. Uh, let's have some neck as well. We'll have a little bit of neck. Let's have some neck there. Yeah, and some shirt. This is real quality art, isn't it? How about ears? All right, let's, let's throw some ears in here. Those are some good ears. Need some eyes. Let's have a brow first. There's, there's one brow. There's another brow. Let's have an eye in there. Let's have another eye over here. Look at that. Fantastic. So without any skill, whatsoever you can create really high quality art okay this is only pix to pix it's it's 512 by 512 but of course there is a pix to pix hd version as well but it's nice uh, you know you've got all the instructions to go along with it uh, it outputs loads of stuff into that test directory and it's also easily modifiable to create little animations too so for example i added a, a nerd button down here so when i press the nerd button it goes through the nerd directory I've created a sequence there of frames that just sort of bend and change. So when I run that through, it goes and creates the animation sequence there in the nerd output. So there you go, nerd output, and then the little faces bend and stuff. And they, they look a little bit like this. So there you go, really weird, pics to pics, TensorFlow, lots of documentation, enjoy, go and have a play, rodent out.